what's going on in Smash Bros. Weekly. Whoa! Another delicious intro to <coughs> Massive Joe's Weekly Word episode 19 Evos. 90210. That was a long intro. It was. You know what I've got to do one time? Because I still had plenty left in the tank. Um, I could just tell you getting very irritated, so I thought I'd better cut that bit short. I was going to throw, but my, we should put, I was going to throw my microphone battery pack at your nuts. You know what I'm thinking is, I don't know if this is possible, even if Dilip is able to do this, but what do you guys, do you think we should have a weekly word intro timer? No. Like down in this corner or no. some shit, or maybe this corner? And as when I when I start with, I say, what well, it kind of counts. And each week we'll see how long the word is. We'll try to get out to like three minutes or some shit. Okay, then I'll come in and then we can start. Topics of discussion. All right, me. back in stock, coming soon, monthly specials, MMAT article, mm. and Ask Me. MMA is in mixed martial arts? I've got no clue what that article No, no real I idea. definitely have not read that one. All right, let's get straight into it. First topic of discussion, Neve. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to fucking, uh, rapid fire here. So fifth, oh, not the fucking game, game. <laughs> You almost forgot. <laughs> Yeah, look at the Fury Fade, man, coming into its own. One week post Robbie's Chop Shop. You've got too much in there, man. Too much what? It's, it's all gunked together. Nah, man, it's perfect. Look at that shit. Swipe a CD, man. Shit's on point. All right, so back in stock. Uh, 5%, 5150, full of old EMA and Career 10. Yeah. Are all back in stock in a week. We, we got a big shipment of 5%, in case you can't tell. Everything in stock. Yeah. Except for real food, which they're still f- I don't even know if they actually make that product. I reckon that's a product that they like wanted to make at some point. It's been on their price list for like two years, but we can never order it. Always out of stock. All right, pump back in stock in both flavors. Yep. ATP Alpha Mars and Alpha Prime back in stock. Oh shit, that's the, uh, what's that stack called? The anabolic stack. The anabolic Ooh, stack. Got hiccups, got hiccups, got burps, got and, a cough going on. And you got all sorts of things leaving your There's air coming out of every orifice. <laughs> All right, uh, and Corn RX also back in stock, mm-hmm. and Beast Two Shredded. I f- okay. Just quietly, um, for viewers at home who are unaware, Corn RX won Breakout Supplement of the Year this year it did. at the Australian Supplement Awards, and I was surprised by that. I don't know what the f- people were doing when they clicked that as their vote. Oh, that's my favorite. I love it. It's not a, but of all the Breakout Supplements, yeah, you think that's the best one? It's the first of its kind, though. All right. Hey, you can't argue with the people, man. The people have spoken. Yeah. Yep. What else? Um, sorry, is that my phone calling? Is my phone ringing? No, your phone's not f- Oh, 2012 called. They want their fat burner back. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> I walked straight into that one. <laughs> <laughs> I may as well have I legit thought your phone was ringing. Beast. I thought this mother bought his phone into uh, weekly work. out my f- yeah. Shit. Beast 2 Shredded, if, you, if you're still stuck in 2012, you can get some Beast 2 Shredded into you. Well, it's finally back in. Yeah. There's probably people that have been waiting <laughs> since 2012, probably put on a good 142 kilos waiting for 2 Shredded. It does have its loyal followers though. A massively loyal following. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's actually been online for a couple of days and we've already sold a bunch. We haven't even told people it's back. Yep. It's people just scouring Massive Joes on the daily for that shit. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Neve. All right, coming soon. Yep. Uh, women's... Oh, we do think... We, no, well, these... Two, these, these we these... take two weeks every week for the last eight weeks. No, but I can give you some actual solid dates now. So go through them and I'll give the solid dates. Men's and women's performance you know training works, types. Tag team in this bitch. Men's and women's performance training types. And? And cuff trackies. On the way! Cuff trackies black. Been always on the way. No, 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 no. Last week, they were like, should be here within the next couple of weeks. Now, actually, and we, we're air freighted them because yeah. we're not here to f- fighters, on the way. So if they're not live by the time this video goes up, it'll be early next week. All right. Amazing. So excited. Keep long, going. Long sleeve tees in grey. Two weeks. Legit. And team, Possibly less than two weeks. Team J t shirts. Uh, about three. Okay. And that's a lot of people w- w- want to know about that too. Yeah. That's the full range of TMJ shirts, plus the new Shield tees yep. as well, plus some co-branded apparel with Core Nutritionals and MTS. Yep. All that shit's dropping. We've got, I think there's 
25,000 tees? I reckon it is. There's Boss Josh, warehouse manager, has literally cleared out the, the um, overflow warehouse just to allow for space for t-shirts yeah, when them. they drop in. Big, uh, Fucking phenomenal. Big bin come. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Monthly specials. Oh, f Dilip, throw up the monthly specials for May. We're call you know what we're calling them? Got all creative this month. Amazing specials, You've used that for the last three years. Amazing. You've used that for the last three years. Yeah, but how good is it? You it's got the word it. May you, you just in amazing with the M-A-Y. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, yep. yeah, you see that shit? Yeah. Which is your favorite special this month? Uh, the Wet Dream Stack. Really? Yeah. Do we rock in the Wet Dream Stack? Well, that's the only one I can remember. You know which uh, which one's my favorite, mate? <laughs> Your own stuff. <laughs> does, does come with Finally, a, finally got myself a stack. Does come with. Been what, doing this shit for how many f years? Finally got myself a monthly special stack, and I'll promote the f out of it. Joe can actually f fit his Don't shoulders. Joe, Joe is that deep up his own inside his own ass that you fucking you fit your own shoulders in there now too, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. But there are um, there's some good specials this month, man. That optimum one with the ten pound bag, you get the extra bag. One pound and some shorts. Yep. That's epic. The Amino X, buy a big one, get a small one, half price. That's epic. Yep. Jake Nicolopoulos would love that. He loves Amino X. He does. We got uh, the apparel special. To buy the long sleeve, get the cuff trackies for 100. Some good specials this I month. don't mind that one. I'm in the picture of that. Good one. specials. Link is in the description box. Go click that, man. You can check out all of those monthly specials. Next topic of discussion, Nee. Uh, MMAT article. Ah, oh, now this is this is this is some cool shit right here. It's not mixed martial, it's not MMA. Alright. Yeah. It's none of this, uh, none of that. Uh, what do they call that? What's that sport called? UFC. UFC. There's none of this UFC bitch in this bitch. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This MMAT is Maximum Muscle Activation Training. It's a new article and uh, Dilip, go ahead and pop up the title screen for the article. Your mate, John Cena V1, yeah. as the headline for this particular article. Ooh. MMAT. So what it is, it's, it is, link is in the description box. It'll be the first link in the description box. That's how important this shit is. Yeah. It's a new article uh, that our new business development manager, Kristen, has written based on a bunch of research uh, where they measure electrical signals over a muscle contracting. Mm. And then they can use that information so they can measure these signals over like a bunch of different exercises. So say chest, for example. Yeah. So get these and electrode probe things, measure electrical pulses over your chest contracting, and then go do bench press, flies, cable flies, pec all the different exercises, yep. and figure out which exercise stimulates the most muscle growth yep. based on electrical impulses throughout the muscle. It's amazing. So the net effect, this article is for each muscle group, Kristen's gone out and distilled the best exercises to stimulate the most muscle growth. Have you read it? I, dude, I've proofread the shit out of it and it was amazing and very contradictory to what you may think really i'll throw one in there for you yeah for example chest yeah bench press yeah nope no, it's not good for building bench for building a chest no not not in there as one of the top exercises what is well pff, go read the article i'm going to tell them in weekly work well, awesome article make sure you, you do go check it out because it will it will definitely give you some things to consider when you're thinking about your workout split and what exercises go into different muscle groups, you going to train now, are you? Absolutely. Based on that, it makes sense too. It's a much more efficient way to train. There you go. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Ask Neve. Oh, shit, already? Damn. We're only 10 minutes in this bitch. We could be finishing half hour. Hurry up. <sighs> Lewis Hughes, your mate. Big Lewis. If Lewis uh, hit me up on Snapchat. Yeah. And I don't know, I didn't realize it was him because his name used to be like. L. Hughesy or whatever. Oh, he was. changed it. He just changed it to Banjo Kazooie, and I'm thinking, who's this Banjo Kazooie? Yeah. I honestly don't know oh, what that oh is. Oh my god. No? Am I walking into another phone call joke here? No. No? Just leave it? Just, uh, if. You know, you, Joe's not <laughs> I a have video, no idea. Joe's not a video gamer. No. I don't know what the in your childhood. You never watched any movies, never played any games. I went ever. to the gym. And lift the weights, no, we're mate. talking about when you're 10. Really? What about when you're 10? I was lifting at 10. No, you weren't. Shit. Right. I've been lifting for 45 years in this bitch. <laughs> Lewis wants to know, all right, you two very big boys. Nevosh, 
Uh, you used to have a bit of a crush on Miss Paige Hathaway. How do you feel towards her after the rumours of her photoshopping her booty or will J.A., I'm guessing that's Jennifer Aniston, yeah. uh, forever be your number one? Um, I mean, I'm still a big fan of Paige. Obviously, ever the whole Shreds uh, team is under under uh, a bit of fire. They just, uh, mate, they just got Order 66 Did they? Yep. Really? I saw the video. Really? They're no, I know. <laughs> um, but I do follow Paige on Snapchat. Yep. And you can't Photoshop Snapchat. No. And she f***ing looks amazing on Snapchat. Too. Yeah. So I, I, my, my thoughts haven't changed. Obviously, the thing is, is no matter no matter what you do, no matter what, um, when Joe has a photo shoot, mm -hmm. and of course the editors go back and they do their touches to the they touch it. There was that. There was that one photo of Paige going around. Dilip, you know the one I'm talking about. Cut it up. The one where she's like facing the side of the camera and the serratus is in and yeah, everything. Yeah. Which is clearly photoshopped. Yeah. Like she almost looks like a man. Like her midsection looks like a man in that. Mm. Clearly photoshopped. Um, I, we did a video on this, the Games Trust yeah. video on photoshopping, and we had a we we didn't mention names, but it was obviously targeted at uh, Devon Physique and the rest of the Shreds crew. Um, I, <laughs> I mean, f man. Every every single every, anyone who does a photo shoot, whether it be fucking your tenth place in the INBA comp on yeah. the weekend, yeah. or your fucking Devon physiques and your yeah. Hathaways, yeah. Everyone, whoever gets professional images, they get touched up in some way or another. And I think that I'm just going to put out there, that, and there's there is a line that has to be drawn. The issue with that Games Trust video that we had with what Devon Physique was doing is it was just like a normal whip out my iPhone, take a photo in front of my car. This is how I look day to day, yeah. but he's photoshopped the f out of it. Yeah. Obviously, if it's a professional image and it's touched up, uh, you know, the expectation is that there's going to be some sort of photoshopping. The issue I have is when you're using those images to inspire people or sell products that you're giving the impression are going to make people look like that. Yeah. That's the issue. Yeah. To answer the question, J.A. or P.H.? I don't know. Jessica, por que no los dos, hey? Yeah, I'll, I'll have both of them. <laughs> Jessica Celeste wants to know, hey guys, what are your thoughts on training the same body part two days in a row? For example, back or legs. And are there any arguments for or against this? I ask because I sometimes train back or legs two days in a row as I feel like I'm not sore enough from the day before. Or did I not push myself hard enough and want to know if that is doing any damage as the muscle may not have enough time to recover from the previous day. Thanks guys, stay massive. It's a great question from a pushy cat as well. Yeah, I didn't do it. Uh, we, I don't. I don't normally read the questions beforehand, but Dill no. did. Dill yeah. did like, tell me about this one. Oh, did he? And I did yeah. have a funny joke lined up. But Except I didn't, you didn't think it was a female. I didn't. Know I yeah, no, I can't. You yeah, can't use like, them sexist I, jokes. No, I can't. You sexist. It was something about like uh, what I was going to say is this guy. Like it, it feels good to do it, but. It, it's Just leave it, mate, and answer right. the question properly. Jessica wants some advice from the big Evos. Your muscle needs longer than like 24 hours to recover. Yeah. Definitely, I, like, obviously... There I, is no reason to train a muscle 24 hours after you just trained it, Jess. Yeah. No reason at all. It's not going to increase protein synthesis. It's not going to increase muscle strength. It's not going to do anything apart from put all of the tendons, ligaments, skeletal structural involved in that, in that training that muscle under a lot more stress than you need to. Because what happens is that's doing, it. Doing weights is, uh, and a lot of guys don't understand this, and I didn't understand it back in the day. Yeah. But when you do weights, the muscles and everything are all tearing. Yeah. When they grow back, they grow back stronger and bigger. Yeah. So the thing is, if, if every 24 hours you go on a tearing these muscles apart. When are they going to grow? They're never going to repair and grow. When so, are they going to repair and recover? Um, yeah, definitely 48 never. hours. So maybe you're going to lose games. Perhaps if, if you're feeling fine, I, 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 it's different for a girl. I don't know. But no, it's exactly the f same. No, it doesn't make know. a difference for a girl. You're not you just, girls, you the do. issue is you're not training hard enough. Ooh. That's the, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't give a f if you can train legs and then go train legs the next day. You didn't train legs hard enough in the first place. Said. That's the truth. I was going to sugarcoat it, but you didn't sugarcoat it. Mr. Lewis Bones wants to know, hey guys, what's the deal with Body Power UK this year? Are you coming? If you could, please, if you are, could you please bring a selection of TMJ Apparel with you for the UK fans? We want to buy that shit and not have to wait for international shipping. International shipping three days, mate. It's f***ing quick as shit, man. It's actually going to take us longer to fly to Body Power than international shipping. But answer the question, If Nick. you had ordered this by the time that you 
wrote that question on Weekly Word, you would have had your, you would have your power. First question. Had a fat rate of 995. Mate. First question, are we coming to the UK for body power? Obviously not a big fan because we've said many a times that we've been coming. I'm actually going to post on Instagram about it tonight, which will be yesterday by the time this goes live. So uh, We leave uh, next Wednesday, the 11th of May. We fly for 30 f- hours. 36. 36. And then a two-hour drive to Birmingham, yep. and we get to we're, we're at Body Power. We're coming to Body Power this year, Lewis. Yep. We're coming. Second question: okay. Could you please bring a selection of TMJ apparel with you for the UK fans? Yeah. Are you, are you taking some? Yeah, we're doing it. T-shirts to take. No, we're not taking T-shirts. We're going to take some other cool shit. It's going to be cold in the UK, it's man. It's twenty degrees. It's the same weather as it is now. I'm going to bring like uh, some track pants. I'm gonna bring some long sleeves. Are you gonna have Epcot facilities? No, it's gonna. We'll have, we'll have PayPal here. We have to do PayPal transactions. Oh yeah. We're gonna bring apparel. There's not gonna be a lot because we can't bring a lot with us, but we're gonna bring some shit. And if you're keen, you're keen. You're gonna look f- dodgy as f- walking around the stuff, walking around body power, f- and selling apparel out of a bag. I'm not gonna be selling it out of a bag. We've got a f- <laughs> booth. The fuck? You've lost this guy. You've lost it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Zach Johnson wants to know why do you guys have a loyalty system with your sales to buy a power with accrued points? Uh, because it's f-ing epic. That's free, mate. Uh, I have a few thousand points. Oh, f- yeah, Zach, my man. You got a loyal customer up in this bitch. Yeah, but then he complains. I got a few thousand points and won't let me use them on your latest apparel. So what is the what is the point? Don't you think if I've spent a few thousand dollars in supplements that I could claim points for even your newest apparel? Well, Zach, the problem is as soon as we get a new line in, yeah, it's very limited stock. Yeah, this is the, this is the issue, Zach, and we're happy to answer this question because we're the people's company. We aren't going to shy away from this bullshit. The reasoning behind it is when we drop new apparel, a lot of the time it sells out really f- fast. And like when I say sell out, like people want to buy it really fast. So our general rule with new drops, with new drops of apparel, is the first shipment won't be available for redemption on loyalty points, but the after that, so the second and, and subsequent shipment is it goes on the loyalty uh, the loyalty program for redemption and loyalty points. And it there takes, are it only, takes, it only takes one month once it's been launched. You only have to wait four weeks. There are some exceptions, but there's not many. And that's generally how it works. On the flip side, our loyalty points never expire. Ever. So there's no rotating loyalty point schedule so you're going to lose loyalty points and not be able to cash them in. If you're patient, you'll be able to cash them in for everything hmm. at some stage. A month. So do a month. That's the that's the reasoning behind it. If if we if we allowed people to redeem loyalty points because we have amazingly loyal customers all over the world. If we allowed you guys to redeem loyalty points on the first release of apparel, people who wanted that apparel who are willing to pay for that apparel straight up probably wouldn't get it. Because everyone would just cash in We'd their loyalty points. For it. We'd be sold out the first month. So it's just a, it's just an inventory based issue. But uh, be patient, and you'll be able to get whatever your heart desires, Zach. And we appreciate the loyalty, man, don't we? Well, the, you see Zach, with, Zach's my boy. Well, you'll see with the next lot of shipment. Yeah. That um, I mean, there's twenty five thousand t-shirts coming. Yeah. So, I mean, on second run shipments, we get a lot of apparel. A shitload. Freddie Matar. Well, these this next this next run of trackies is like a thousand units. Mm. So, uh, Freddie Matthias, what's up, mother? Love your videos, guys. Uh, well, my workplace doesn't let me eat throughout the day, only in lunchtime. I work from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. My question, what can I do to keep the micros, let's go with macros, protein, carbs, and calories for the day? I think most people uh, don't have the privilege eating throughout the day, stay massive. <coughs> well, I mean, you're only working for seven, what's that, nine, nine hours? Nine hours. I mean, so he's effectively got nine hours no, but he says he gets lunch. So he probably works four hours, has a lunch break, works another four hours. To be honest, man, that's what I do at work anyway. That's really. fine. I mean, have, have that's breakfast, no problem. Breakfast in the morning, have lunch. Have, just you got to have big meals, bigger yeah. meals. Yeah. I mean, whereas Joe and I might have like meals which are sort of five hundred calories worth. If yeah. you have meals that are a if thousand you can't, calories. if you can't get your meal frequency to the point where you're eating six to eight times a day, who gives a f- eat four times a day just go go bigger meals Hmm. you can definitely still hit your required macronutrient intake in four meals some people intermittent fasting people can do it in two you can eat or even one you can eat like crazy mother you can eat at six midday yeah then at four 
Yeah. Go train. No, pr- you got no problem. Don't seven, overthink it, man. Eat at nine. Don't overthink it. Lucas Gardner wants to know, Big Nevos, what's your body fat percentage and how often do you get it checked considering you don't compete? I don't know what body fat is because I don't get it checked. Um, I don't get it checked. No. And I'm competing at the end of the year. That's like a three in one question. What's me and my body fat going to achieve? Lucas, I do compete. Um, recently, I've been competing every year and I don't get my body fat checked ever because it's a pointless measure. When you step on stage, do they go, give us a certificate that says what your body fat is and the person that has the lowest number wins? No, they don't give a single f- They want to know how you look. People store body fat in different areas. A body fat percentage measure is going to do absolutely nothing for you apart from possibly stress you out. Yeah. Because let's be honest, say you're like four weeks out from a show mm. and you're like, I reckon I'm probably like 5% body fat. Shredded gl- you're, sh- you're in good shape, right? Shredded glutes, mm. f- styrations everywhere four weeks out. You go get a body fat test done, it comes back at like nine. And you're like... The thing that I do is I take photos every two weeks. Yeah. Every two weeks on a Wednesday morning, first yeah. thing in the morning before I eat and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Is take photos and use photo comparison. And yeah. That way I know what my body fat level is at. If I can sort of see abs, mm. I know that I'm not out, completely out of shape. That's it. So yeah. Rico Suave wants to know, have fellow soldiers, I have a travel related issue. I'm departing Melbourne soon, going on a five week holiday throughout Europe, but don't want to lose any of them sweet, sweet gains. Have you ever had to deal with getting supplements through airport security or would it just be easier to buy small quantities while I'm over there? Keep up the good work and as always, stay massive. Um, we've taken everything overseas. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. The best way Rico is just declare it. Yeah. That's honestly, that's the best way. I Ziploc bag all my shit when I travel. I don't, I chuck it in full tubs. You do full tubs. I Ziploc it and write on the Ziploc bags what's in it. The reason I Ziploc it is because it takes up less space and you're going for five weeks, you're going to need a lot of supplements, man. Over five, that's a lot of, that's yeah. like a suitcase worth. Yeah. Or maybe not a full, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. That's a lot of supplements. Um, so I'd probably advise you to Ziploc them, write on there what they are and just declare them and you'll be fine. But yeah, we, we've come no back problem. from we've come back from America. We've traveled around yeah. America. I've traveled to Thailand. No problem yeah. at all. Brandon J. And if there is a problem, say you go. I don't know where you're going in Europe, but say you go to a country in Europe where they don't let protein powder or some shit. So long as you've declared it, they'll just say, yeah, you can't have that and throw it out. No big deal. You're not going to get arrested in Chappelle Corby or any of that shit. Yeah. Rusty TMJ for life. Oh, I like this username. That's Russell Johnson. Russ! <laughs> is that Ru- is that Russell Johnson? Yeah. Did he change his f- YouTube? He's never done that before. And his Instagram. Everything's that. Oh, this is awesome. Thanks, Russ. Appreciate it. Uh, what's up from WA, my brothers? Quick it's question. WA. I've noticed as of recent, when training back, specifically deadlifts and rack pulls, I tend to hyperextend uh, and hit a lot of lower. Is this normal, guys? Stay massive. See you soon. Peace. Russ, what the f- are you talking about? I can't even make, I, I know Russ, we know Russ very well and we can't even make sense of this question. Hold on, let me try again. No, he's saying that when he does deadlifts. Yeah, and um, rack pulls, I tend to hyperextend and hit a lot of lower. So are you leaning back too much? Well, don't lean back, Russ. Is that what he's saying? He's like extending too far? I think so. Don't hyperextend, man. <laughs> There's no reason to. I've seen, I lot, I've seen, a, lot of dudes that, I've seen a lot of dudes that deadlift and then they f***ing like lean right back. What's the point? There's no point. So. There's no point. What Just, muscle do you engage to, d- to do that? If There's you, no f***ing point. If you, um, You're going to put a lot of stress through your spine. If you can't control the weight at the top and your fucking body is somehow f***ing like spasming or some shit and you're f***ing hyperextending, well, the weight's too heavy. You, to shouldn't, you shouldn't be hyperextending at all, um, Russ. Brandon J wants to know, when I squat or dead, I feel like I try to grab the floor with my feet. Is that the proper thing to do or should I focus on keeping my toes straight? What the f***? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Grab the floor with your feet. Oh, so he's like curling his toes. I hope... You, people overthink shit too much. Yeah, Brandon, to be honest, man, when you're squatting and deadlifting, your weight should be on your heels. Yeah. So your toes shouldn't even... You, I don't even think about what my f***ing toes do because I'm concentrating on keeping my weight on my heels. I've, the last thing I've thought, I've, I've never heard of grabbing the feet with you, you ground with your feet. That is f- 
fucking weird. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> but in terms of like toe placement, Shit. what do you say? What do you say he has? He, he just said, I'm trying to grab the floor with my feet. Oh, Is that I'm right? Keeping my toes straight, straight out. Straight out. So maybe, are you curling your toes? That's what he's doing. That's how you would grab the floor with your feet, like a fucking monkey. I don't, like, if I'm pulling 300, I can't No you. shit. Just stand I would, I would focus on keeping the weight on your heels, brother. Yeah, just stand normally, man. Dean J JKS wants to know, hey guys, bit of a different question for you this week. With new supplements being added every week, just wondering if you've ever had to drop brands from your range. Yeah, all the time, if, if we get old brands or brands that just don't sell anymore or products that don't sell anymore, yeah, man. we'll stop selling them. Like, I mean, yep. obviously with, the, with all the new pre-workouts out and all that kind of stuff, there's stuff that just... We products get, drop off. Yeah. Absolutely, it's like it's like any any business. It's like any market for products. New products come in, old products go out. So yeah, absolutely, um, we do definitely drop brands, drop yeah. products, most definitely. Yeah. AK Big Gamer K wants to know, what's up, fellas? Due to circumstance and convenience, I work out at home in my self-made gym. It's mostly free weights, and I can't go to positive failure on the big lifts like squats or bench due to fear with no spotter. Will I get the same results by cutting back the weight a little and increasing volume without failure? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, <coughs> um, on bench, if you can, try and get some dumbbells and, and try yeah. to go more to failure on dumbbells. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's also, uh, it's a bit hard with those kind of big movements, but that's yeah. when intensifying techniques also come in. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that, I mean, yeah, obviously if you don't want to, I'll, I personally wouldn't drop the weight back and yeah. go more volume. I'd keep the weights the same, but just try and keep one or two in the tank. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be as good as training to failure. We're big advocates of, of always training to or at least two, but even past failure. Um, but you, I mean, you're still going to make gains, man. Yeah. And if you don't have a spotter and it's convenient for you to, to train from home rather than go to a gym and train with a partner and get a spotter and all that bullshit, Suit your lifestyle. Mm. I'm all about that. Suit your lifestyle. You're going to do it more consistently. See, more consistently over the long term, and eventually you're going to get better results. Anyway. Depending on where you're squatting as well, man. Obviously, if, it's, if I don't know what you mean by homemade gym, but yeah, I guess if it's a power. Obviously, like if you can get your hands on a power rack, because that way that you can go to failure on squats, you can go to pay, failure on bench, you can squat in the power, you can yeah. bench in the power rack as well. This is a good question. This is from my man uh, Fion on the Central Coast. Yep. Do you remember Fion? You probably don't. No, you weren't on the gains tour. I've never been on I forgot. Tour. Anyway, Fionn Henderson Foley wants to know, what's up fellas? I'm 17 years old and have been training for approximately two years. I absolutely love the health and fitness lifestyle. I don't drink alcohol, don't do any drugs and go to the gym when everyone else my age is out partying. However, my problem is that I often find it hard to find friends who are like-minded and are happy doing things like going to the gym rather than going to parties, getting drunk and f***ed up. My question is therefore, did you guys experience this throughout your teenage years and what is your best advice for making friends who are going to share these interests that are somewhat uncommon at this age? Thank you guys and stay massive from the Central Coast, New South Wales. Um, That's a good one for you. I got two points. Obviously, yeah. like going through high school, I played um, AFL football, not AFL football, but yeah. like Australian football. Yeah. Um, and it was like high level when I was like captain of the side and all that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. So the big dog. I didn't been carrying companies on his shoulders for years. I have years. been. So I did. I didn't drink. Mm. And I did, obviously didn't smoke or yeah. take drugs, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And my mates all um, did. Yep. Took drugs and yep. smoked and drank to mm -hmm. excess to mm -hmm. throw it up. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they they were good because they were. I guess I, I don't know if I was lucky. Yeah. But I had a good um, group of mates, and I guess like the whole at school, like three of the year levels, all used to go to the same party, like big parties. Yeah. 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 But everyone was always, I, I've never had this problem with peer pressure, I don't know why. Yeah. But everyone was always understanding and I just used to be designated driver and- You just didn't give a f I, I don't, really? I really, I, I don't give a f people think to be honest. Yeah, you never have, never will. So, it, Life it, of need. I went to the party, I went to parties, like, I didn't want to miss out, I didn't want to sit at home just yeah. sitting on my own. So I went to the parties and I just took Red Bull and just drank Red Bull while yeah. everyone, everyone took their four pack of beers or six pack of beers and yeah. I took a four pack of Red Bull and Drink Red Bull, and yeah. Like, so the thing is, uh, yeah. If you you, you may you should understand your personal choices. If yeah. they don't, then they're not mates. Yeah. Uh, number two, if you yeah. if you are at the gym, I mean, if you don't want to go to the parties and hang out and not drink or whatever, then mm. if you're at the gym, I mean, 
If you're at any time, there's bloody, I know near my house, there's 10 different any times. If you're yeah. carrying a different one soon, long enough, you're going to find another dude your age who's at the gym with the That's same it. interest. Similar interest. So go up and chat to him and say, do you want yeah. to train together? And yeah. Add him on Facebook, whatever you kids do these days. And did, we, did we just both train chest? Did we just become best friends? Yeah. Exactly. One of those situations. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Don't stress though, man. Everyone, uh, uh, different strokes for different folks. People are going to have different interests and shit. And I understand like at that kind of age, it's all about partying, drinking, mm. drugs is like the, the, you know, 90% of, of that age group is probably interested in doing. Yeah. But you know, f it, f peer pressure. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. If that's not what you're interested in, just don't care what Do people are interested. Just don't care what people Josh Gilboy wants to know, hey, uh, ask Neve, how many more, what time is it? We, we actually had a Do you have left before you murder Joe? I won't murder Joe, but it's getting very old. Yeah. He needs to get some money material. Something like, what do we have? We used oh, to have You don't want new material, man. No, we used to have Because you're gonna time. get, you're gonna get more pissed off with the yeah, new we used Because to have, I'm working on some good shit, man. There used to be monster time. I'm working on some good shit. Oh, you got nothing. No, I got plenty. You got nothing. I got plenty. All right, next So question. much. Last question, gotta be going to Barney Ong. Barney wants to know. Oh, is it Barney Ong or Barney Bong? Oh, it's Barney time. Ong. Oh. Uh, Nevos, I just wanted to get your opinion on proper etiquette when spotting strangers in the gym. Should you offer to spot someone or only spot when asked for help? I sometimes find myself keeping an eye on someone who's struggling for a few sets and have even saved them when they've failed, mainly on bench. So just wanted to get your thoughts on this. Um, yeah, obviously I'll, I'll spot anyone when they ask. Yeah, yeah, um, that goes without saying. You can't, you can't turn down a spot. Yeah. If someone comes up to you and says, hey man, can you spot me on this heavy bench? And you say, uh, nah, not interested. That's rude. Yeah, you're a f Yeah, that's yeah. up. Um, but if you're not asked to spot, do you jump in and, and yeah, offer yeah. your services free of charge? Depends on what they're doing. I mean, if I'm, if I'm in the gym there benching the 60 kilo dumbbells or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I get to seven or eight reps and I start failing, mm. I don't want a mother come up and help me because- Some weird, strange mother That's just me. If, if they're at, like, if I see, if I saw like Joey there doing dumbbell incline flies and yeah, yeah, yeah. start struggling on the 10th rep, yeah. I'm just going to let him fail yeah. because he's not going to hurt himself. Yeah. It's different if they're doing barbell bench and they're going to crush themselves. Yeah. Or and you're actually like saving lives. Yeah. Then, which or, I know you're helping I know you, Barney, people. I know you, as a doctor, you save a lot of people. Barney's not a doctor. <laughs> he's a doctor. He's not a doctor. What? A doctor of gains? He just doesn't want to tell us. He's pre a doctor. Pre prescribing all kinds of gains? The f <laughs> so Barney's used to saving lives. So Barney's used to know what to look out for in the medical room mm. slash gym. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, d definitely if they're doing bench and they're going to drop it on their head, then go help them. Yeah. But if they're failing on their tenth rep of bicep curls, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll let them fail like a bitch. Yeah, I, I would, I would one hundred percent agree with that evaluation of uh, of spotting adequate. Yeah. I hope that helps Barney. But I think the I think a lot of people would enjoy Barney spotting them. Oh, I, I yeah, certainly he's enjoy. He's Barney. Got, he's got that. He's got them soft hands. He's got a tender touch, doesn't he? He does. And on the, the soft hands on the elbows, oh. it's nice. It's like little pillows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nevos, do you have anything else you want to add before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word and all the other deliciousness on our YouTube channel. If you're watching this shit on the mobile, man, click the post notifications button and turn that motherfucker on. Make sure you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Where we come to and from Neve. MassiveJoes.com. Stay mad.